Phillips is the host of Dolly Vision on YouTube. Check it out, folks. Uh, uh, he travels around the country covering all types of cases like this. What is up, my beautiful people? It is Dolly back in the house again today. As you can see by the title, it says breaking. Maddie Soto, crime scene photos leaked. I know that sounds crazy. And you know these police just be leaking all kind of damn photos these days. We're going to be talking a little bit about that tonight. Also, I want to give a thank you to everybody that watched my video today from me live at the courthouse for the Cody Bigsby murder trial. So I've been covering the Cody Bigsby murder trial. I did get to see the dad today. This is a little off topic. I got to look him in the eyes. Eye to eye with straight killer, murderer, baby killer. So we went baby killer hunting today. You know, just like this guy, Stephen Stern, 13 years old. That's a baby to me. That's just a big baby. This dude is a monster. Just an absolute monster. Let me add this to the stage so we can take a quick look at this video right here. And this is on crime scene photos being leaked. Now, police, 
they're making it out to be like it was an accident that they leaked photos of this dead child. But it's no accident. They're taking damn selfies with the killer like he's some famous superstar or something. The police are strange. Look, I never got this whole, let's promote our Facebook. Okay, you used to be able to go to the news to get the news. Now, when you want to watch a press conference, you got to go to whatever city it is, their Facebook page to watch their news conference. It seems insane to me, but let's jump into this real fast so you guys know what is going on. Murder. We're working, working to figure out when he could be facing more charges. charges. Not been charged yet either. Girl's mother's boyfriend. Right, right now, he's charged with sexual battery and child pornography. pornography. Investigators, Investigators think instead of dropping Madeline Soto off at Hunter's Creek Middle School last Monday, he killed her, threw away her backpack, and hit her body. Investigators later found her on Friday. And as Kissimmee police investigate Madeline Soto's murder, there are new questions tonight new about questions. social media posts published by a different law enforcement agency. So over the weekend, employees at the Osceola County Sheriff's Office posted a crime scene photo and a selfie with the prime suspect in Soto's disappearance. Now, did y'all hear that? They posted a damn selfie with a killer and one of the crime scene photos. Now, I haven't had a chance to see this photo, nor do I want to see it. And I encourage you guys, don't go out looking for it. Um, we got an echo. Some people are saying echo, no, echo. OMG, like a really bad echo. The video is echoing. Okay, let me stop sharing it. Hold on one second. Now let me reshare it. And let's see if it's still echoing. All right, let's see if it echoes now. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest joins us now. And Mike, you just heard from prosecutors about this. So I just received a statement from state attorney Andrew Bain, who will be prosecuting the case. He says, in part, I'm deeply disturbed that the photos were carelessly made public. While I do not believe that these photos will have any evidentiary impact on the case, as of now, they were released in poor taste. Late Friday afternoon, Osceola County Sheriff's deputies discussed. Okay, some people are saying still there's still an echo, still an echo. Is it terribly bad? Everybody's saying yes, echo, echo. Okay, let me see what I can do to stop this echo from going on. Um, I don't know what reason there would be an echo. I got everything off. There's nothing playing. Hold on, let me blow this screen up to make sure. I don't know why this would be echoing on you guys so badly. It's the only thing open. Hmm. Let me try sharing it like this. Let me try sharing it like this to you guys. Uh, let's see what this is. Okay, let me share it like this. That ain't the right thing. Oh, man, I don't know what's going on here. All right, let's try it one more time. I don't know why it's echoing, guys. It shouldn't be echoing at all. Covered the body of 13 year old Madeline Soto in a wooded area on the very next morning on the official Instagram. Okay, let me let me mute this. I'll try everything. Page for Osceola County Sheriff Marcos Lopez. Someone posted a photo that appeared to show a close up view of the crime scene. News 6 has blacked out that image. But, but the, the photo, photo caption, caption, which reads, Great, great day, day with our seniors, suggests, suggests the posting was unintentional. In a statement issued Saturday afternoon, the Osceola County Sheriff's Office said, quote, 
Earlier today, a post was made on social media about a community event for seniors. So they literally took still echo. Okay, well, look. Video in each. Okay, shut down the browser window completely and reopen it. Okay. Well, basically, the moral of this story is we don't have to reopen it. But all they did was they posted a picture of the crime scene they thought was for a community event. But they ended up... Po but see, that still don't um, mute your mic. Uh, Steph K's a new member. I'm not going through all that. I'm not muting my mic and I'm jumping through a ring of fire. We're just going to get through with a story and then we're going to open it up for phone calls anyway in just a minute. So they posted the actual picture of this young lady passed away. Okay. Why they, that's, you can explain that. That was an accident. That was an accident. But why are they taking pictures, selfies with killers, and then these officers posting them on their Facebook pages? That is really unacceptable. You know, like, why would you want a picture with a killer? Like, today, I look the killer right in the eyes. And you know what I've seen, guys? You know what I've seen when I look this killer in the eyes? I've seen a man that was scared. A man that's about to go to prison for the rest of his life. He walked into the court a free man. He wasn't in handcuffs. He walked into the court a free man. I walked right up to him, looked at him, and all I seen was a little old frail man that's 44 years old, which is younger than me, scared to death. And I hope he lives the rest of his life like that, okay? I hope he carries himself the same way when he gets to prison in three days. So I will be out there again in the morning and hopefully this time he walks past me so I can, you know, go full Nancy Grace on that ass. Tot dead. I just coined that phrase too. I don't want to hear other people saying tot dead. That's all Dolly right there. That's all Dolly. Tot dead. I'm going to be like, where's that baby? Okay. So make sure y'all tune in tomorrow morning for all that madness because that that should go down tomorrow okay if this echoes it's just going to have to echo but we're just going to run with it to get through it okay so bear with me in the in post, post an, an investigative, investigative photo, photo was, was accidentally, accidentally included. included the, the photo, photo was immediately removed, removed. We, we deeply, deeply apologize, apologize for any confusion or disturbance this may have caused as with any investigation the information obtained is confidential and any mistaken disclosures will be immediately rectified and that could affect the investigation and prosecution of the case, the defense of the case, and, and it could also affect the potential jury pool. News 6 legal analyst Stephen Kramer says the photo's release may prompt a defense attorney to try getting the trial moved to another location. And he says it could open Sheriff Marcos Lopez up to civil liability. Echo is gone. a family that's suffering, and you're, you may see an argument that this photo even if it wasn't intentional, the release was negligent. And as a result, you may see a claim for damages and a lawsuit result from that. The agency has not disclosed whether Sheriff Lopez himself or another staff member posted the Instagram photo. That same morning, Sheriff's Office employee Nerva Rodriguez posted <coughs> this photo on her personal Facebook page. It shows Rodriguez posing in front of Stefan Stearns, the prime suspect in the teenager's disappearance. The caption reads, if God's love has been poured out over your life, don't allow evil to keep you away from what he has prepared for you. The post includes the hashtag Nerva Rodriguez. Rodriguez is the executive director of the sheriff's office, a civilian position that oversees several departments, including the agency's social media. The photo was removed from Rodriguez's I Facebook bet it was. page after News 6 began asking questions about it. Rodriguez did not respond to my request for comment. A sheriff's office spokesperson said it could not answer questions about Rodriguez's Facebook post due to ongoing investigations. Okay. So they literally leaked a picture of this little girl Maddie's body on their damn Instagram. Posted a picture of her body thinking it was something to do with senior citizens. You got the officers posting selfies with the guy. We still haven't even seen him be charged 
with the murder of this little girl, because I guess they're still doing the autopsies and stuff of it like that. So right now he's still being held on capital sexual battery charges, which, you know, there was videos that surfaced on his phone of him doing really bad things to this little girl. And the day that the police took his phone, he told the police, hey, I did a factory reset on the phone, which he thought was going to hide all them dirty videos or him doing the big R to little Maddie. But if he was in the true crime, he would know you cannot delete the stuff on your cell phone. The only way to delete it is to overwrite it. And you can't do that. Okay. And plus today, if you got an iPhone, a good Samsung, all that stuff saved to the cloud anyway. So the police have it. This, you know, your cell phone is the tracking device. If you are a criminal, you don't want this with you. Now, I ain't trying to coach any criminals on how to get away with crimes because we've seen in the Brian Kohlberger case, he cut his phone off and then cut it back on. That didn't work. Okay. Um, so, but these phones are been a lot to do with a lot of these court cases and these murder cases we see coming up of people pinging phones. Stuff like that. We still don't know the clue that led them to Maddie. Okay. Some people have told me some rumors, but I'm not positive if that is true. What we're going to do now is open up the phone line. You guys tell me what you think about the police leaking this image of this little girl. And this is my biggest question. Why the mama in jail? And I know a lot of you guys out there are asking, now look, I ain't going to sit here and point the finger at the mama. I'm just asking the question. Why ain't that mama in jail? She was lying. She was lying. And now you may say, Dolly, it's just a little lie. Just a little baby lie. A little rocket to sleep little baby lie. It don't matter. A lie is a lie. If you tell a little lie, it's to cover a big lie. That's the only, or unless you're just a compulsive liar and you like to lie. There's people really out there like that, that lie for no reason. But most people lie for a reason. To benefit yourself or some type of gain. She was lying. Why ain't she in jail? You guys hit the phone line. The call-in number is on the screen at the top. It's 757-797-6694. Let me get the phone lines pulled up and refreshed. Okay, they are good to go now. Now, I've heard people say, well, the mama shouldn't be in jail. She might not know. I call BS on that one. And the police that have leaked this, they should be absolutely ashamed of themselves. And not only that, but I think they should be fired. Now, I don't know how many of you guys in the chat room think these people should be fired for this. But me, myself, I think let's fire a couple people and these photos like this won't leak anymore. Because, and it was up for a good bit. And you know people saved that photo. So that photo could be found on the internet. But like I said, I don't encourage anyone to go search it out and repost it because <clears throat> that would just be absolutely horrible. And this is from court TV eight hours ago on the docket tonight. We're going to jump over to Vinny real quick. The disappearance of Madeline Soto. Uh, she went missing in the Orlando area, just 13. 18 years old. Um, we really have some sad news tonight. Here's photos. Um, let me sh show you some photos of Madeline and her mom. Um, Uncle Vinny and Aunt Nancy. Okay, here's the thing. Like I see people saying definitely should be fired out there in the chat room. Okay. Why did they have these pictures on a phone that's connected to this? You know, why are they passing around in the police department? murder pictures or you know pictures of this girl dead for somebody to accidentally just post it 
So that means all the law enforcement are sharing these crime scene photos. They're probably texting them each other. They're probably collecting them like their Cabbage Patch kids. I mean, it's it's absolutely crazy to me. And if you're doing that, remember when the Kobe Bryant thing went down? Okay, so you know the police were passing around photos and they, they got in trouble for this. I was the second person to announce that Kobe Bryant's helicopter crash. I had 30,000 people in the chat room because I had just put TMZ onto my phone for alerts and I was setting up the stream simultaneously as I got, because if you don't know, TMZ was there at the crash scene of first of the Kobe Bryant crash. And as soon as they went, said it, I went live on it. And of course, you know, the police were taking pictures and these pictures were getting passed around. And this seems to be the case in the Maddie Soto stuff. These police are sharing these pictures around and now one of them has accidentally got posted. Can you imagine being the mother if you was a mother that cared? I ain't saying this mother don't care. I'm just saying if you was a mother that did care and you flipping through your Instagram and boom, there's a picture of your dead baby. It seems insane to me. And like, you can explain it away. But like I said, these police are like taking selfies with it. We seen that. Remember the dude in uh, Pennsylvania that escaped from jail? Um, Cavalcante. I can't believe I remembered his name. I'm getting good, right? Cavalcante escaped from that Pennsylvania jail. Remember the traffic cone? J-A-R film for like six straight weeks. So he was out there hiding near that traffic cone, that traffic cone, damn famous. I forgot what I was going to say. I started thinking about the traffic cone. Where was I at? Where was I at? Oh, 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 I remember now. So when they called him, when they called him, they took the big, you know, they took the selfie with the dog. Remember, they were taking pictures of him with the dog on top of him. And then... They took the selfie of them, you know, holding his ass while he's all bloody, you know, then ate watermelons, right? And he's all standing there and the whole police department takes a selfie with him. They got some heat over that. Dolly. Hey, Dolly. Hey. It's Rose from Virginia. Hey, Rose. What's going on? Uh, Well, I'm watching you, of course. Okay. And I'm so glad you're on, and thank you for your coverage of that other horrible thing this morning. Um, I'll be back out there I, this morning. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Jimmy, I have something on my mind. Um, it's two things, actually, and I, I, I think they're in line with the two questions you put out there. The first question is, why is people doing self, selfies and this kind of, and the news and blah, blah, blah. Um you know, many years ago now, the Comcast or the various internet companies switched their services to us poor people. And um, you got to pay for internet. But if you want any live channel like uh, the news, you remember back in the day, Jimmy, Channel 7, Channel 14, Channel 25, you could watch a football game for free and the news, you know? Yeah. Um yeah, I don't have to. And, we live in different locations there. I got three, well, three and ten. Well, we okay, but what I'm just saying, I can't afford what the internet company wants me to pay for just to have normal like channels. I'm not talking about, you know, uh -huh. the pay. The pay you okay, know what I'm okay, I get you, Rose. What does this got to do with selfies? Okay, what well, happens? the only news now that is available and this is how YouTube became so popular is because when you want to get some live news about something that's going on, you go straight to YouTube and turn on, turn on uh, your show or WFLA or, and you know what you else know? you do when you come into my show, you hit that like button because Dolly got to eat. Okay. And there's a thousand people in the room and I don't even think we got 400 likes. So I'm going to be homeless so, living at Rose's house and her talking me to death. I ain't that right, Rose. Uh, well, Jimmy, please let me finish. There's uh, I'm my here, heart I'm, is I'm, troubled. I'm, I, and I'm trying to point out some things without it, getting into politics that look how popular YouTube is and everybody 
has learned they can make money off of YouTube uh -huh. at this point, right? I mean, it's well, no, and, and that's how we see that's the problem. Everybody thinks they're a YouTuber, Rose, but everybody's yeah. not. That's the thing. Everybody's not. There's certain people. Well, that those, them some them some tough streets to walk on. But let me let me continue, Jimmy. Okay. I'm not trying to be the the host of the show. I just you know. I'm trying to talk fast. I know you got people wanting to call. Um, so YouTube is making a fortune. Other people are making a good living. But then there, you got your creeps that come in that I've never even seen or heard of who suddenly are wanting to cover stuff about Maddie and different things. Uh -huh. That's it's Like I said, I don't want to be political, but let's look at the mathematics and the money. Now, the second subject, why isn't the mom in jail yet? Good question. Now, I've been trying to get a hold of you and PJ to tell you something that I don't want to say. Uh, I don't want to say it on live television, national television, but uh -huh. it's been bothering me since last week. And I tried to call you and PJ right after you got off your live. You know, I was trying to catch you. I have a theory about okay. Maddie. Okay. Okay. I think, look at all the photos of her when she was younger than 13 she's kind of a skinny scrawny and i don't mean scrawny and i just mean in a kidly way and she she was above average height she went you know and then i want you to look at her last photo on her 13th well the her birthday party for her 13th mm -hmm. and i want you to look how sick and filled out she looks i'm sorry to say this people I don't mean it bad or ugly, but I think that the girl was pregnant, and I think they're going to find that out in the autopsy. Oh, my Jesus. And that could have been the pressure point right there. And, and he, as far as the mama, the, the mama worked nights from what I understand. So that man had been grooming and being alone with that girl for a long time. And you know what's really sad? She's just a kid, a young girl. She probably relished his attention and and. Not that I'm saying she's a bad, you know, uh, okay. Well, what, what do you think of my theory, Jimmy? I think it's, it's absolutely possible that, you know, he was, he was having those type of relations with this man, but look, Hey Rose, I appreciate you calling in your five minutes is up. If you want to call back, you can later. Thank you, Jimmy. That means a lot to me. All right. You be good. Later, Hosen. All right. Peace. Uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to try to keep the calls down to five minutes because sometimes the, the calls get stretched out and people start rambling about shit that don't matter. OK, so we've been trying to keep it a little more organized and on track. But what do I think about that? And what do you guys think about that? I mean, uh, Rose from Virginia actually made a little bit of sense there. OK, a little bit. I love her to death. She's harmless. Right. Um, Could she be? pregnant I, it's hard for me to even say that because it's a child and i'm but it's absolutely disgusting but you never know we don't know i guess we wouldn't know this until some type of autopsy came back and would it be in a minor would they release that but then again they would probably leak it okay because they done leak dead pictures of this little girl on instagram now usually it's zav girl that's usually leaking dead pictures or it's one of these on the crib. I'm sorry, Zav, go play it. Somebody usually leaks pictures. And it ain't pictures. Okay, I don't never put out pictures of people. It ain't what I do. Dolly. Dolly. Yes. The the mother has changed her appearance and her Facebook uh, name. I would change <laughs> her location to another country because she needs to be in jail. Oh, yeah. Under so, the jail. I mean, I think she's knowledgeable. And if not, some type of neglect. Okay. I mean, they discharged this dude. I went to court with this morning. I've been in court, the live court for Cody Bigsby here in Virginia. And they charged him yes, with 30 counts of child neglect. Right. How can this lady not be neglectful? Exactly. You know, at least hit her with a child, a, a felony child neglect, let her face five years, put her on probation or something, but just to let her, like, she, you know, you live in the same house. She dated this man for seven years. You know, he could have been doing this for the last six and a half of this. 
Well, uh, I watched a thing the other night where the one of the news people was covering the uh, what is it called that little ceremony they had for uh, the memorial. Yeah, the vision. Yeah, and two of the kids said that she had told them at age eleven that he was having sex with her. He told the kids that. She told the kids. The, oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, so he's and it was it was on TV, <clears throat> and I tried to get a hold of you that afternoon. I was going to get you to watch. It. <laughs> oh wow, that is that is absolutely horrible. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I don't think he just done this. I think he's been doing it, and that's proof right there that he's been doing it for at least the last three years, two years. Yeah. And and, and the mom had. I'll tell, no you, what I told, I'll tell you what. My sister and I got into it about something. You know, we have to pay tax dollars for all these prisoners. Yeah. If they would take, and all those that have killed somebody, if they would take and automatically undeath them, or, or unalive them, rather. Yeah. You know, things would probably be a lot better. If you can undeath somebody, you would be God. Un unalive. Them, <laughs> you know unalive You'd be God at that point. <laughs> It's just some God right there. I'm going to undead you. Hold on. Be patient. <laughs> no, if they would unalive them. Uh huh. Yeah. Just, instead of letting them go to, uh, well, life in prison and all this stuff. So what if you, they would automatically, whenever they're charged, instead of taking them to a cell, take them to the electric chair, gas chamber, whatever. And have a place out there where they've got all this place to do their exercise and all this. Use that as a graveyard. There you, you put go. Them there you go. Let them exercise on the graves where they know where they're going. What do you think about the police leaking the photo of the, her body? I didn't like it. <laughs> it's horrible. Like how many, like you can F up in a lot of ways, but how do you post that on you know because that just shows they were sharing it oh yeah do you watch duty ron yeah i've occasionally watched him i listened to his audio right. call the other night where he had a friend or alleged uh -huh. friend. let's say alleged friend because we don't really know so we'll say the alleged friend of Stephen turn up there and we played the audio from it and listened to it and it sounded legit to me though yeah well i watched him last night while I was waiting on you all day yesterday. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, he read his uh, charges. He yeah. read the whole thing. And he said, if you, people, he said, I'm warning you right now. He said, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever read in my life. Oh, yeah, I read the affidavit. I just couldn't repeat what yeah. it said up here because it talked about places he oh, did things. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, he, he read it. And described his private parts, like yes. you know, and that's kind of. He, oh. he read the whole thing. He said he wanted everybody to know exactly. He said that way, whenever court time comes, that people will know. Yeah, I mean, he read the whole thing. Cool, but I'm BJ from Tennessee. Awesome, awesome. Well, look, hey, I appreciate you calling in. It was good talking to you. Oh, I do have one question. Okay, go ahead, shoot. Is there? coconut in your the things you make the soap and the lotion and stuff uh there's no there's coconut in some of it it depends what what soap it is okay well i was going to order some but i'm allergic to coconut okay okay well you may you might want to uh we'll get a list of the stuff we have that don't have coconut in it for you just send us an email and we'll send you stuff that don't you know we'll give you a list of stuff that don't contain that okay have a good one all right. Dolly. All right. You be good. Okay. Peace. Dolly. Hello. Hello. Okay. Going once, going twice. No sale. They must have hung up. Um, so, let's see. I'm just catching up on the chat. Dolly. Hey, Dolly. It's Sunshine and Shadows. Hey, Sunshine. What's going on with you? Oh, just watching you. I hear that. So they're leaking photos of dead kids on their damn Instagrams. This is the police. 
they supposed to protect. I thought, you know, these were supposed to be put in the evidence crime scene photos. Uh huh. Not put on the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, selfies with the killer. Like, what is that? So they could write a book later, you know, in the eyes. Of I have the, no clue. Photo, you know, selfie with a killer. But that, that was just the selfie thing. That was disrespectful, I feel like, to the family. Like, her grandparents are probably seeing this. Like, really? The cops are probably going to be on his side now. They're they're probably not going to have any faith in the justice system over that. But another thing with the social media post of her dead body, I'm horrified because I've got nieces and nephews and the 11 year old I take care of. They're <clears throat> all on Instagram, you know, so I know this little girl's friends are probably on Instagram. What if her little 12 and 13 year old friends saw and that? Post something. Homicide. When you post something on the Instagram or Facebook, it shows you what you posted. Did they not look at what they, they just posted a dead body and was like, we want to thank our seniors. You didn't realize you just posted a little girl's dead body. That is right. You didn't, you didn't take a look at that. Yeah. And before, and they just left it up there and didn't realize it until, you know, they, you know, people started saying shit and then they're like, Oh my bad. Well, I yeah, hope they yeah. took it off. I'm not even looking for it. I can't handle it. Yeah, I didn't go looking for it. I just knew it, it existed, and that was good enough for me. I was like, because the police leak all kind of stuff. The people are sneaky. They do some of the police do stuff for money, and they do. They just do it to do it. Every Crazy. cop ain't a good cop. Like all them cops be sharing them photos with each other, and that's who wants to sit around and see a picture of a dead baby. Not me. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. Did, did you hear that uh just like a day or two ago there's another missing kid in Houston? No, no. Uh yeah, it's on uh Grizzly True Crime. Okay. I'm not Grizzly True Crime, Grizzly Hood News. Gri Grizzly Hood Grizzly Hood News. Okay. Yep. She's got it out there, and it's on Houston 26 uh news channel. Yeah, we got some hood news here. We got this uh Rhoda lady that was at the courts today with me and look um, they, they could only pick you know one news organization to go in and they pick the Facebook person not our uh, local news not 10 13 or 3 they pick like, they, it's just like they walked out there and was like you know not against uh, Grizzly Hood news I mean she's great but you know there's these ladies went to college for reporting and you know uh media and things like this and they're sitting out there like what the hell they just picked a random facebook user and said you the media today you report because, <laughs> yeah. that, like, what? The, i think it was the rose lady that called that's what she was talking about with like nobody really watches the actual tv channels anymore because they watch youtubers I, yeah well they watch youtubers facebook or, or they stream because you know cable companies they want so much just to give you regular tv channels yeah yeah you know, I, it's crazy. I, I mean they're like just like right now there's uh 1156 of you guys that should be hitting the like button there is a lot of people that get information from youtube i mean it's a quick source it's live which you write in it's interactive and of course the news ain't interactive and plus the news can only give you the news station's narrative like they can't be out there going like oh this dude's a piece of shit like me you know, they well, can't get like, your opinion on it, and I can. I mean, I watch a little bit of the news, but I watch you for exactly that. Like, you're a real person. You have real feelings like I got. You tell those feelings. Yeah. You tell your opinions. And I think you the know, news, I think the news people are starting to catch on to that. They're a little more starting to get into the YouTube thing. Everybody is. Everybody's trying to get in on that YouTuber shit, you know, because mm -hmm. they realize that media has gone to the internet and to the, and yeah. YouTubers kind of got an upper hand because we got a, a bigger jump than you. Like I've really, mm -hmm. seen, I've seen some of my videos on YouTube, right? Do better yeah. than mainstream media videos. You'd be like, how the hell did I do more videos than like Fox news? You know, oh. news. so you, then you got to realize that, well, people like alternative media sources of how they get their information. 
I guess everybody don't want to watch a stuck up dude in a business suit. You know, they can't relate. I think people can relate to people covering the news on the internet because they're real people telling you what they see. It's it's also like um I think a lot of people thank you Vance. they they tend to want more of a personality a little bit too yeah there's and some... not just a stuffy like you said a dude in a suit uh, yeah but I'm just gonna let you go in a minute I just uh one more thing that's kind of not related last night I tried to call in uh I wanted to tell you something you uh you had said something about the Amish and domestic violence. Mm-hmm. And I was going to call you and tell you that um, you said, how, what does domestic violence even look like in Amish? Mm-hmm. They are actually literally expected to punish their wives for misbehavior. It's um, part of their culture. And they, they police themselves mostly. Oh, I was just joking. I didn't know that they'd okay. be beating on their wives. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, saying, I mean, I, I, didn't, think I, was I didn't know joking. you knew that. So I was like, yeah, because I've got friends that uh, grew up Amish and left the community for exactly that purpose. I think, they didn't want to grow up and be beat like their mama. Yeah, I didn't really, you know, I thought they were just all Christian good people that didn't do those types of things. That's why well, I said, baby. what does what is, what is their domestic violence look like? Turn, turn me some butter, woman? No, uh, they, they read too much into the part of the Bible that says women should be submissive to the husband. Oh, okay. And they, they expect their women to be fully, you do what I say or I'm going to smack you around a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's that's not good. Definitely. Yeah, and you know the women—they don't see it as abuse; they see it as punishment. They see it as discipline. Yeah, way of life because they just yeah, they and up. that's like my that's friend. That. She that's left that. that community because she's like, I don't want to grow up being beat up like my mom. <laughs> I mean, all TV ain't bad. I mean, the whole no TV, no phone thing, and let's drive a horse and a buggy and live in the past. I think you can live a good, righteous life and still have a car and a TV. If you want to, I mean, I feel like screens and modern, modern, uh, what we're used to, I think it kind of spoils things a little bit, but at the same time, I don't think I could live without my phone. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, I appreciate you calling in. You be good. Stay safe. All right, Dolly. I'll bug you another night. <laughs> All right. Peace. <laughs> All right. Bye. Okay. So yeah, the little girl tragically loses her life because her mom's not really alert to what's going on in her home or she is and if she is then she needs to be in jail dolly hi hey this is lisa hey lisa um i'm watching your show live yes and I'm calling from Georgia, so I'm kind of nervous. I don't know, never did this before. I don't re- really know what to say. If it makes you feel better, I'm from Georgia too. So relax. Just, I'm down. I am the coolest, chillest person in the world. There's nobody listening to you. It's just me and you. What's good? Okay. First, I just wanted to make a comment about this lady here that uh, moved the pervert in, uh-huh. you know, yeah. that took the life of, of her daughter. And also the statement about Allie's father. Um, I have a 35-year-old daughter, long story short. She was born in 1988. I, mm-hmm. I did never let my child out of my sight, not ever. And these parents kill me because, like, the, the dad of Allie, he's allowing this guy to move in. And then, you know, the guy kills his daughter, but yet he you just doesn't Audrey. Have- Audrey. You know, Audrey. Audrey. Mm-hmm. Allie. Okay. I was kind of confused. I was like, Allie, Allie. And then I, I clicked to what you were saying when you said the dead let them move. And I was thinking, okay, that's Audrey. So not stop. Yeah, go ahead, I'm go ahead. Sorry. You I follow too good. many cases. You fine. <laughs> but anyways, I think he should be prosecuted. All these parents should be prosecuted for child neglect because it's partially their fault. Because if he would have did a background check on this so-called friend, then Allie could probably be alive. And then this little girl here, the same with her mom. There is no way, especially this day and time, that I would allow a pet out of record to move in my home and be around my child, regardless if it's a male child or female child. We ran into two problems here, and this is the problems. One, when he, the first, uh, you're talking about Stephen McDougal. Stephen McDougal, 
was arrested for uh, enticement of a child. So that didn't make him have to register. So they didn't have to check to see he wasn't on the registry. He wasn't a sexual offender. Um, but now his parents should have been able to look at this guy and tell he was not all there with the tattoos and the crooked eye and stuff like this. Now, in the defense of this woman, Jen Soto, her boyfriend, Stephen Stern, he don't have a criminal past at all. So there was really no way for her to look it up, and there was no way for the family in Texas to look it up. But the family in Texas should have knew, and this mother also should have knew. I wasn't. I'm sorry. I, I was under the impression she she knew, but or, or he had a record. I, no, a re I, no. I just. But didn't. regardless, you know, I'm I'm thinking. Okay, my daughter's 35. Long story short, I won't keep you. I know you're busy, yeah. but long. Long story short, my daughter's 35, and there is no way today, if I was to go back in time and her be a teenager, I'm a female, I'm a mother, and there's no way I would leave my child with any man, regardless if he was a nice man, a Christian, I wouldn't leave my child with a, a man alone, not a girl, no way, no way. Well, and this guy leaves her with this person, you know, and, and then she's found up under a bridge, you know, et cetera, et cetera. It's just these families kill me. They they just put them, their children in this predicament. And to me, they're, I feel they're partly to, to blame for the deaths of their children. Yes, I do, too. I do. And there, and there should be some charges for people in Virginia. They would be in jail. OK, I'm going to court tomorrow. For dudes that charge for child thirty charges of child neglect just for leaving his kids home alone, and he also I, killed his baby. But that's that's another story for another time. Absolutely. And then I see where I'm living. I live in a cavity cove, and these uh, young adults here that are in their thirties, they have little kids. They're letting them run around at the end of the street. Anybody can circle around here in the daytime and snatch them up. And I'm having to see this daily. And it just disturbs me because you don't know how bad I want to call the cops, but I can't because no crime's been committed. But I'm thinking, OK, this could happen over here. And then I see it on the news one day because I didn't call and, you know, report it. Mm -hmm. But there's people over here leaving their little kids like two year olds, one year olds walking around unsupervised. And, and I just don't get it because I wasn't raised that way. I was raised if you have a child. It's true. You can't constantly, you know, be around them 24 seven. But when they're that small, watch them. I mean, yeah. it takes two seconds, two seconds. I turned my head for two seconds when my child was two years old, two seconds. And she fell down the steps and I, I was panicking, took her to the hospital, blaming myself, beating myself up. It just takes two seconds. Yeah. And these people or, or just they're not watching their children. And a lot of these murders could be prevented if they would have just taken the time to to watch who their child is associating with. Exactly. Hey, look, hey, I appreciate you calling in and sharing with us tonight. Well, thank you. And don't, and be, I'm scared, new, don't be scared I'm, to call next time. See, I told you it wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> I'm a new member, so I watch you when I can. And um you know, so and, we love yeah. you. and I just want to thank you for what you do on YouTube because you're very good at your job and, and you bring justice and you're good. You're to the point. You're blunt. You tell it like it is. And I'm blunt and you're my kind of people. I like that. I like you. I watched a lot of them and unsubscribed. Awesome. They weren't as real as you. You're real, man. I <laughs> like you. Thank you. I'm a real dude. I appreciate it. Mad love to you. You be safe tonight. All right. All right. God bless you. All right. Peace. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. I understand what she's saying. Let me tell this before y'all blow the phone lines up. My daughter's 23. She has all 10 fingers, 10 toes. I think I did pretty good so far, right? So she has roommates now. She got her own place. She has, you know, her, her apartment and she has roommates. And, and in the beginning, I was like, look, you know, make sure you get female roommates. I don't want no damn weird ass dudes living with you. Okay. So recently one of the roommates moved out and a dude has moved in my daughter's apartment. Now, um, First thing I said was, you know, my daughter was like, dad, I was like, is he a weird dude? She was like, he's gay. Okay. I was like, okay, good. How gay? That was my question. Okay. How gay is he? Is he, 
Is he dancing around the house? The gayer to me, the better. It's the way I'm looking at this, okay? It, my daughter says he bakes and he cleans the apartment. I was like, okay, he's good. He's good to go. You know what I'm saying? He's good. He's good with Dolly. He's all right. You know what I'm saying? But just I didn't want no weird ass dude living with my kid. I just didn't. You know what I'm saying? I just thought that was, you know, you're young still. You're 23. You know, this dude bakes cookies, brownies. He's cooking for you. He cleans your room and shit. He is the best roommate ever. He can stay. I and then she's actually charged him a little less for rent. All right. That's that is awesome. You know, and I don't have to worry. Okay. As a father, you know, that worrying don't stop. You don't stop worrying about your kid at 18. You worry more because now they're making their own decisions. Dolly. Hey, Dolly. What's up? Well, that's going on. What's up? Hey, Chill. um, I just. I just found you online, so I was going to see what was it. What was the update? Because I have an opinion on the case. I haven't. Okay. About. Tonight we're talking about that the police leaked the photo of her dead body on the Instagram. Oh my god. They uh they've been taking selfies with the killer and posting them on their Facebooks. No, they have not. Hey, this is the world we live in. This is I ain't I ain't do it. I ain't got no selfie with them. You know that's Who like me. Not dead? somebody like that i don't know so you know i look that killer that baby killer in the eyes today and i'm gonna see him tomorrow should i be like hey can i get a selfie with you hell no who wants that selfie okay hell let me no. take this picture like i'm gonna go take a picture with dig jeffrey Dahmer up and take a selfie with him that might be pretty cool posted at halloween i don't know it's just strange and this whole era we live in where police are like worried about their facebook's like they're promoting their facebook's and shit like what happened to just turning on the news and watch? Why we got to go to press conference? We got to add 72 police departments to watch what's going on in true crime. Now I feel like if I break the law, they'll know because they're on my friends list. That is, that's like violation. I that's know. Like now I got all these cops on my friends list because I'm trying to watch press conferences. What if I do something wrong and they see it? I think that's effed up. When I used to watch Get My Time uh, from the Dead. Killer, though. But, but I, I wanted to call and tell you my theory. Okay, let's do it. On her birthday, I think that he brought her home. Uh huh. And I think there was, I think there was confrontation. And maybe the daughter said something, he'd rather be with me than you. Ooh. And, uh, and I think that the mother actually hurt her. I think he left, and I think the mother actually hurt her, and she told him to cover it up. You're gonna, you're gonna help me, or I'm gonna tell everybody what you did to her. Huh? And that's why I think he looks almost believable in the crying with no tears, that like he's like emotional about it, and then he keeps saying it keeps coming in waves. I mean, everything they say in there. What if they were into some freaky stuff and they were both abusing her together? No, I don't think that's what happened. Mm. Think so you think, think she happened. may have killed him and he covered it up? There might be something that's missing. Like there's something special, like like the other girl, the t whole tattoo situation. And this, this guy was giving her like Pokemon things. Mm -hmm. so there has to be some kind of trophy. So there was a trophy that he had of hers. And that's what the daughter used to prove it. And I think the mother snapped. And was like, no, he's my boyfriend, and he doesn't love you more than me. But you can t you can clearly tell, like, in the interview, they're like, well, you just spoke to the cops, and and she's like, she starts shaking immediately, like, uh, in her interview. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I thought it was all. I thought her whole interview was fake, like it was just so staged. I don't. I, I think she had some knowledge at least of what and was I think going she down. Blackmailed him. I think she blackmailed him, and he was sickly in love with this little girl. You know, because he says she was so kind, she was so sweet, mm -hmm. and and I think that she did something, and she forced him to help her cover it up. He looked and, over guilty when he gave that interview and he was crying because that's not even his daughter. That's his stepdaughter. I can see you being a little upset. You know what I'm saying? I can see you. Yeah, know, he, he, he should have been comforting her, not not exactly. not him getting comforted and crying. Even the reporter said, "Why are you so emotional?" Like, 
over watch it, watch it on silent. Watch it on silent. Because he he loved that he loved her in a strange, sick way. And I think the mother did something and I think she's just in that cover up mode where uh-huh. she hasn't even processed what she did yet. And he's already like she's gone. Like something he adored is gone. Yeah, it, yeah. It, whatever went on in that house is horrible. I mean, yeah. it needs to be known so he can be prosecuted. The right people can be prosecuted. But that was something terrible happening in that home. That poor little girl. Look, I appreciate you calling in. Yeah, you have a good night. You too. Peace. So, yeah, like something horrible. Things that nightmares are made of. We're transpiring in that house. And some people would say from the time she was 11 years old. For two years, this little girl was abused, assaulted. With her mama probably in the next room. Dolly. Dolly. Yes. It's Rose from Virginia. You said I could call back later. You did say that, Rose. I did say that. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to touch back on taking selfies. Okay. Um, taking selfies with a poor child's lifeless body. No, thank you. Well, they didn't take but, a, they but, didn't take a selfie with her lifeless body. They leaked her lifeless body onto Instagram. And then put their yeah. And then took selfies to kill her. Okay. Well, that's why. Like, <clears throat> yeah. If I caught, let's say, a killer that's been prowling and hurting and doing bad things and like a big fish on the end of my hook. Now, if it was a picture of him getting kicked in the head with the cop screaming, stop resisting, then yeah, I can let you have that selfie on your Facebook and I wouldn't be upset about it. But when you just trying to chill with a killer, that's bad, Rose. That's right. I'm, I, I totally agree. I'm just saying if I was the detective who did the gumshoe work to find a creep and I caught him, I'd be like, yeah, look at my big fish. I, I would be proud of the work that I did, that I brought the killer, you know? So, I mean, police have gotten a lot of bad rap and for a lot of reasons and, you know, not oh, going mean, there. I mean, I can see the but, that made the arrest post in a selfie, but just everybody. But at the same time. At the same time, if you're a good cop and you really do the work to find the clues and all that, and you finally get the creep, I, I can see myself taking a selfie, you know. I'm, yeah, I but mean, I don't know. these people want attention. Do you give people? Yeah. They, these monsters, some of them want the attention. When they get caught, they want the attention. Yeah, do you that's give, another problem. Do you that's, give them yeah. what they want? You know, they want to be, oh, you'll remember me. You'll, you know, everybody in the country is going, yeah. you know, it's it's infamous. But still, do you give them that or do you just treat them like the nobodies that they are? Well, that's the question of the day. It's been a question for many, many decades. Uh, some of the famous killers, you know, they're famous, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But I mean, think about it. They don't. weren't famous before they killed people. They wasn't. If you think about Charles Manson, he wasn't famous. Oh, well, he would. He might have been a musician, but he wasn't famous. You look at Ted Bundy, he wasn't famous. John Wayne Gacy, he wasn't famous. Uh, Richard Ramirez, the Night Side. Now all these people are famous. They're on T-shirts. They're pipe pop icons and shit, like from killing people. You know, yeah, that, that, that's, that's the wrong thing. image. And I'm one of those people because I like I'm into weird, crazy things like that, you know. And but does that help this help? I don't think it really helps, but you know, I'm into creepy weird things. It just is what it is. Okay, Jimmy. <laughs> I just just wanted to say, like, you like know. I would quickly wear a shirt with Charles Manson on it, you know. I wouldn't have no problem with wearing you know what? Uh, Would that be a, as like, a, hey, a you never this It said, let me chew on your arm or something. I wouldn't, you know, it don't mean nothing to me like that. Would it's, that serve as a plaque to say, watch out for creeps like this, maybe? Is that where you're coming from? I mean, you know, it, learn your history. If you see a serial killer on somebody's shirt, go learn about that serial killer. So if you don't, you know, history's rebound, repeat itself. And it continuously does. And that's what I hope 
eventually you and uh, your platform uh, is going to provide that constant awareness. I'll tell you one thing I noticed today is, you know, I'm, I'm into horror movies, right? So a lot of my mm-hmm. stuff that I have is horror movie stuff. Like my keychain yeah. is Michael Myers with a knife on it. Okay. It has this knife right. hanging down from my keys. And I yeah. noticed it when I was at the court today for the little boy, I was thinking, you know what? This probably ain't the best place to be wearing some Michael Myers shit where a little kid got killed, <laughs> you know? So I took my keys off my neck and put them in my pocket because it had a Michael Myers keychain on it. I was like, okay, right. this probably ain't the most appropriate place for stuff with serial killers on it. We're going about to walk into court for a baby that uh, yeah, just lost right. his life, and I got some Michael Myers shit on, or like, or walk right. there with some Jason Voorhees stuff. You know, it's like a little like yeah. serial killer stuff on. I know, a little strange, but I put it in my pocket so nobody's seen it. Yeah. I understand your thinking and and where you're coming from. I just don't. I don't think I have the verbiage to really put it in some. Um, well, I, I just want to put it in the positive visual. That okay. I think your your channel helps to continue to uh, provide alertness. Let's learn from. What do you see when you look in someone's eyes? I mean, you know what I see, Rose? Right? I see your time is up again. So it was good talking to you guys. You be good. And I'll talk to you next time. Peace. Peace. Okay. So Rose ate up her five minutes again. Again. But you only get two. All right. If you can't get all your stuff out in five minutes the first time, you can call me back later and you can get a second five minutes. But that's it. All right, Rose. That's your 10 damn minutes of my life that I will never get back. Ever. I'm just playing big virtual hugs to each and every one of you. If you haven't, make sure you like the video. So the recent update is this. The police leaked a photo of this little girl's body on the Instagram. They leaked the photo, and then they think some senior citizens. They they confused. They're confused. They're not really internet savvy. Dolly. Hey. Hey. You're, I know you're talking about the you know, poor little young girl that all uh, has been a creep, but what happened with Cody, um, Cody's case today? Okay. So, you know, it's been a while. I've never really seen Corey Bixby in person, okay? So I didn't really, I didn't know really what he looked like in person. I've seen photos. I've seen them on TV. So I didn't know if I would notice them when I seen them. Yeah. So... When he was walking up, I thought it was him. So I had the opportunity to say, where's the baby today, right? (laughs) Okay, so I had that opportunity, but I wasn't sure. And I didn't want to where's the baby the wrong person, okay? Because you just don't hit anybody with a where's a baby with your best Nancy Gray. You got to make sure that that one hits hard, right? Right. So then I realized, I was like, it's him. By the time I realized oh. it was him, he was in the courthouse. And I was like, okay, damn, he's in. He won't be. I'll be there waiting tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to be. Yeah, but he must have gone in late because you, you were there a long time and he never went in. He did. He went in. He walked right past me. I got him on video. So, I mean, but was it a while? Was it like just before court? Right before court. He's walking up. Oh. I'm telling everybody on camera, I think this is him. I think it's him. He's dressed really good. He's come from, you know, he's with his lawyer. I was like, I think that's him. And I walked over to the door that I thought he had to go past. But really, there's two doors. There's one on this side. There's one on this side. And they went on the oh. one side. I tried to block the door so he had to walk right past me. But I still wasn't 100. Now, I know when I see, I know who he is. I know who his, his niece is. I know who his lawyer is. So now when you walk past me, I know who the players are. So does he look? Does he look totally different than what you thought he would look? Yeah, he's smaller. Okay, he looks frail. He looks scared, uh, and that's what he deserves to look like. Yeah, that's right. I like what That's what he should look like. Yeah, that's what he should look like. His butt cheeks are squeezed together. He's going to prison for the rest of his life in three days. That's what I'm. Hoping. They're doing it that quick. Yeah, they scheduled him for four days. That's it. Oh my. Wow. Yeah, you know how they schedule the murder cases like they did uh we were just at Harmony Montgomery's murder case up there in uh New Hampshire. Yeah. That was scheduled for three weeks. They did it in two two weeks and a little change. They got his shit scheduled for four days. They picked the jury 
today. Okay. How did they do it so quick? Is Virginia always that? Damn. Okay. I mean, I mean, they call in 19 witnesses. That's it. I learned that from the 19. from the Rhoda lady. Yeah, they let they let. OK, we got like some hood news here and we got our regular news in the court. Hood news. Oh, no. Look, I'm just saying that's what it is. It's, oh. hood news. it's hood news is what it is. So we I mean, I, apparently every state has a hood news reporter. I'm learning this It's the new thing. Right. Oh, hood OK. News. OK. So we got this lady named uh, Rhoda. Okay, from around here in the 757, and she runs around to all these different places like like the news people do, but local. She don't do like national news. She just does local news. So, oh. and she does it off her Facebook. So they come out to get a news reporter so they can go back and report to the news. And they go out there, instead of getting the, the mainstream news channels, they go out there and get her. The hood, what? The hood news. And let her, and the only person reporter that go into the courtroom was this chick off of Facebook that does like ghetto hood news? I don't think that's right. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Right? I was like, if I work for the news company, I, I would be ticked. I would be so pissed off. <laughs> I'd be so pissed off. Especially when you come back and be like, hey, did you get the story? They'd be like, nah, they let some Facebooker in there. You'd be, you boss be like, what? I sent you to that court to get the story. You didn't even get into I'm surprised court. Virginia. I'm surprised Virginia course what that happens jennifer b said that's great for her yeah i mean look <clears throat> i ain't hating to come up i think it's funny you know me myself that they didn't let the professionals in <laughs> they just let right them. but here's it's the thing is, is they're screaming this you know his rights have been violated and he has his civil rights attorney and it, i don't know i think it's going to turn into if they let this man go i ain't going to believe it if they let that idiot go, he could be haunted because people ain't gonna let that fly with so long. I mean, he's out right now. What? I mean, he looks. I know, and I can't. I don't understand that. But you said it's because they violated his rights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They made they made a screw up big time, and now they got to deal with it. So, but still, regardless of what they screwed up, the little boy's gone, and they still ain't found him. No, and he wrote three confession letters where he says he's dumping his body in three different places. He's just toying and playing with them, and I think that's cruel. One place was in Maryland, there, and there's a couple places local. I mean, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I know he's, he, he said he was not guilty today to his charges. Of course he's going to say that because he's probably scared. But we, we all know who else. You're right. Well, you know so they're not allowing cameras into the court. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'll be out there before court. And then I'm going to come out every hour and give an update on what's going on in court. Since they won't allow cameras in the courtroom. They don't allow nothing into the courts here. Oh, I know. Nothing here. I mean, that cell phone, you better pray you don't bring that. The one time I accidentally, I don't know how it got through. And boy, did I really get in trouble for bringing that in. I know. Listen, so the, the, the Rhoda lady. Follows him into the courthouse with her cell phone recording them, okay, and bit post. I don't get that. I don't get that. And and walks right into the court. She's in there filming him inside the court building, and then the lady, the, the deputy goes, "Hey, you no recording in here." And she goes, "Oh, oh, my bad." But by then, she done recorded everything. She exactly. Did see, I was, I was saying, if I did that, they would lock my ass up. Lock there you up. go. So this no, you're known in Chesterfield. There's no exception. Okay, here you are. Yeah, Ain't no cell phone coming in that court. Yeah, it's a misdemeanor charge. You film inside the court. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do that. They'll arrest your ass. No. I know. I know. They didn't. Oh, my bag. She got away. They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't do nothing to her. They were just like, all right. But more power to her, I guess. You know, you know, if you if you can, people don't want conflict with you. I guess that's a good thing. That's kind of how Bullhorn Betty operates. People don't want to mess with her because she'll go crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> <so legit. laughs> They just they just go okay. <laughs> yeah, but still, you've got to follow examples though. If you don't want one person, you got everybody's got to follow the law though, uh, darling. Yeah, if you raise enough hell, some people just want to avoid you to get you know like no. you know. Well, I guess I, I guess I don't raise enough. You know what? Because I they don't avoid, I don't catch them slack. But anyway, I, I don't want to. So tomorrow, hopefully, I noticed you had. A, I saw one clip, and then I, I got busy. You had a, it's supposed to be warmer tomorrow. It's supposed to be over 72 it's here. Raining. It's raining right now, like pouring. I'll it's be out, raining with you? Yeah. It'll, I'll be a soaking wet-ass dog out there tomorrow. I told PJ I need an umbrella. 
But look, we're over our time, and I appreciate you. Okay. Coming. You can call back in a little bit if you want. All right. All right. Peace. All right. Peace. Yeah, guys, I'm trying to keep the calls under. Uh, Kristen, thank you so much for the super stickers, guys. And if you haven't, there's 1,116 of you. Hit the like. Let's get me to 1,000. Then I don't got to say it no more. Once we hit 1,000 likes, I, I'm good. I'm good with that. Okay? I won't end up homeless with 1,000 likes. The algorithm picks us up a little bit. And we've been gaining like every day about 50 to 100 new subscribers. So if you're brand new here, welcome. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Um, this is a really sad situation. The officer that leaked this little girl's photo onto the internet, they need to put you in like in the back somewhere, okay? Away from a computer. Because, you know, when we post things on the internet, we see what we post. How did the police not know? That was a body of this little girl. And not only that, why did they have it? Somebody that's doing the social media accounts for the police department. Why did they have pictures of this little girl dead? It makes no sense. I say fire that person put, or put her in the damn, uh, where do they do filing? Where you just file papers all day. All right. You don't get to touch nothing. You go back there. We'll see you in eight hours when you clock out. Give them a job like that. Okay. If you cannot see, you shouldn't be posting things on the internet. Definitely not. And, you know, the whole, we live in an era where, you know, people are into true crime and they call it, what is it? True, true crime tourism, where people want to see locations, different things like that. Now me, I'm into that stuff. I like seeing. I like going to the places. It's 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 not the same as just watching it on TV. You don't get the same vibe. You don't get the same energy. You don't get the same feeling for things as when you're right there. Like today. Like we could watch C Cody Bigsby on the news all day long. But I was eye to eye with his daddy looking him right in the eyes. You know, we had this moment where I'm just looking at him. and Like I know he knew. I was thinking, you piece of shit, right? I could see the fear. I could see the fear. I could smell it, all right? I could see he was scared. I can't get that from sitting in this damn chair. I can't. I can't. And you can't get it, right? You can't get it like that. I want to be there. I would have never seen baby Quentin. I hadn't went to baby Quentin's house. So. You have to put yourself in these situations if this is the things you're into. Now, I've always been into weird, crazy things. Somebody, I tried to answer your call, but you hung up too fast. Okay. Maybe try back one more time and let it ring. It takes me a second to click onto it to answer the phone, guys. So, tomorrow morning, I will be back in court in Hampton. For the day two of the murder trial of Cody Bigsby. And maybe, you never know, I might pop down to Florida for this. Dolly. Hello. Hey. Hello, is this Dolly? Yes, this is Dolly. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah. Is that your name or is that where yeah. you're calling from? I'm calling from North Carolina. My name is Jean. Jane is what um, you Yeah. Okay. Hey, Jane. How's it going? Okay. Um, what I have to say is short. How um, in an investigation, you know, the, the crime scene and all that stuff, if I'm not mistaken, done all that stuff go in a batch together and put carefully away? I mean, it's not laying around on desks for other officers to pick up and view, right? Well, what I think it is, is there's a crime scene photographer. Them, t them pictures are taken. They're, uh, they get those pictures and they put them into evidence. Now, this picture is probably something where there was a police there, one of the detectives, and he pulled out his cell phone and he said, Pew! and he's been sharing took a picture. picture. Yeah, and took a picture. That's what it sounds oh like God. to me because they would still, if it was taken from, like, let's just say the crime scene photographer. They got to develop uh -huh. those photos or unless he has uh -huh. digital stuff these days. It's probably digital. They ain't got to develop shit. But 
Um, How are they going to find out who did that if it was somebody with a cell phone that accidentally released it? How are they going to find out if that were the case? If not, it was actually a, one of the pictures. I well, mean, to me, it's, it's crazy that this even happened. Yeah, well, it, it just shows me that they're sharing it. They're sharing it. Yeah, the person it's also, small three. yeah, the person that updates the social media shouldn't have had that picture to be able to share it. Why does no, the, no. why does that person have that photo? You know, there I should be know. they should be a chain of command that hey, them photos should be in evidence, not in your phone, not being shared. It's just bad yeah. police doing. Yeah, that, that just makes me sick. Yeah, can't believe it. It just it makes a mockery of. Of, of that little girl because you know she can't defend herself because she's dead and there they are you know posting it whether they say it's accidental or not it doesn't really matter the fact is that somebody somebody may have saved it and it get, get out there in the national inquiry oh it's it, out there once it hits the internet somebody grabbed it you know oh, God. now so if you go to these yeah. tour sites that show you know that focus on that type of stuff I'm sure it's there. Yeah. I just don't go. When I was younger, I used to go to these sites and watch people get chopped up with chainsaws and all kinds of stuff. Uh, oh, gross. But these days, I'm a big softy. I can't take it. Blood makes me squirmish, dead. I don't want to see nothing dead. You know, total of 180 from when I was young. I don't like horror yeah. movies. I just don't like real yeah. films anymore. Exactly. Well, I heard today that uh, the mother has gone into hiding and changed her, her name. I don't blame her. I would go in the hiding too. She needs to be in jail. Yeah, and also her that that they had broken up a while back, and uh, but he was still allowed to see the little girl what? Uh, because yeah, because he had a uh, she said he had such a good relationship with her, and the little girl really cared for him. So they got back together. That's Stockholm they, syndrome. Yeah, so yeah. they got back together. And I think the reason that they got back together is not because he wanted to do with the um, the lady. I think he wanted to be with the kid. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, she, she took them back, and so wow. And it it was uh, yeah a few years ago. It's somewhere in one of the um, uh, crime scene. Um, um, I forgot which one, but uh, oh oh okay. They also um, got it if if you get read it. It, it goes back to him uh, telling, you know, all about his feelings and what he'd done those years with her as far as grooming her. Yeah, I don't, really, I don't really get on Reddit. They need a video well, a, a and I get on that. On Reddit. <laughs> yeah, he had an account on Reddit and it's, it's unreal what was shown on it uh -huh. today but it definitely was years of grooming right down to when she was nine years old wow so, yeah and you read mm -hmm. all this on reddit yes i gotta learn how to yeah. read well it was on uh, a talk uh station oh today a regular crime and it showed it oh, okay because i forgot I'll the it down and find that yeah um he don't. He doesn't go under his name. He uses a a username. He don't go by Pop Rogers, does he? And um, well, he the toys and everything that he was buying all were little things that little little girls would like. Oh, uh, it, yeah. And he would buy things for her, and he had a collection, and they did things together that was of her interest, and he would. He, he groomed her, and I didn't really understand that until I saw what I saw today. And I thought, oh, my God, he, he she trusted him adamantly. And then he would uh, ask her, you know, tell her he was going to get, you know how little kids want certain things yeah. that they're into. Yeah, and I'm getting this power puff ranger or whatever power yeah, girl. He would buy, I said a power yeah, puff ranger. Would, I don't know if that's a real yeah. thing. Yeah, and so he would he would show her on Amazon things that he would get for her, uh -huh. and then sometimes he would accidentally buy himself something because he was into it. Unfortunately, it came in the color pink, unfortunately, uh -huh. and he wanted blue, so he would give that one to her, 
and he would order him another one. But literally, it's like he was telling his 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 owning sales in regards to grooming her and getting that little girl's trust back then, as far as back then. Uh huh. He was in her life. Yeah, that you know, he's probably like I said that they've been together seven years. He probably had plenty of time to groom this little girl. Hey, Angela. Oh yeah. Chat. Um. Yeah, he's a monster. And, yeah, and the mother that, I, there's it's hard for me to believe the mother had no clue that I don't, I don't believe no she had a clue I think literally the only way he she could hold on to him was through her daughter because he was telling her I love your daughter like she was my own I would not you know and, and build up his trust with her, her, the mother just as well now what happened those years ago that they broke up I don't know Yes. But I know that his friend said that he missed her. He, all he talked about was missing that little girl, missing that little girl. And eventually they got back together. And uh, I, if I remember the uh, talk show it was on today, um, I will get back with you and let you know. Which okay. One. Okay. But yeah, he, it was a Reddick account he had on there another day. For sure. I'll check it out. You be good. I'll talk okay. to you later. Okay. Uh, you too. Take care. All, All right. Best. Peace. Yeah, as soon as I learn how to read, I'm going to make me a Reddit account. I might have one. I'm just kidding. Um, but I don't go up on Reddit too much. You know, one, I can't see the five fingers in front of my hand. Most likely go read a bunch of stuff. It gives me a headache. You know, when they come out with viewed it, I will, I will watch it, you know, and we'll, we'll be good from that point. So definitely a monster. The mother, if she didn't know, I had to say she is really naive paying attention to what was going on around her, which is really sad because if you would have paid attention to what was going on, thank you for the 1K, guys. We hit a 1,000 likes. Thank you. You guys are absolutely awesome tonight. And I'm only going to be here with y'all for about maybe 10 more minutes or so. I do have to get up early tomorrow. We got Corey Bigsby. And you know, this dude got to walk past me tomorrow morning. So if you guys are up, y'all going to tune in for my best impression of Nancy Grace. The top dead is going to tell us where that baby's at. Where's that baby? Okay. We're going to hit him with the best. Where's the baby? Top dead. I coined it. I'm coming out with a shirt. It says top dead. You can get one for $19.99. I'm just kidding, people. I'm just kidding. They'll be like, Yo, this fucking tragedy pimp selling Tot Dead shirts for $19.99. I'm playing, people. I'm just playing. Dolly Grace. Look, I learned my aunt taught me well. Aunt Nancy. She was like, Dolly, you got to hit him with, where's the baby? Okay. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. So as soon as I do it tomorrow, as soon as I hit him with, where's the baby? I don't know if y'all know this, but I have Nancy Grace's email. Right, because we personal friends, we ain't. She's wrote me. I ain't never wrote her back, but I am. I'm gonna write her back tomorrow, and I'm gonna send her that video in tribute to my aunt Nancy. Top dead. Where's the baby? Okay, I can't say where we're buried because I know where they were at. Dolly. Yo. Yeah. Hi. Hey. I can't believe I'm talking to you. <laughs> it's me in the flesh. Yeah, I'm tripping. <laughs> are, are you going to oh buy a Tot Dead shirt for me for $19.99? I might. <laughs> God, we in it to win it now. Here we go. I got some things to say about that, that mama. Okay, let's do it. You know, that number one, she probably found that, that guy's cell phone. Either, oh. And, she probably found his cell phone. Yes, can I? Or, or she came home and caught him. Uh, but then, like, she came home, caught him, and then what? They killed her. I don't well, know of course, I, she's going to blame it all on the girl. And so they they offed her together. Is that what you're saying? Is that your theory? I, I don't know. You know, here's this thing about about youngins, yeah, especially young girls. These guys wrapped them around their little fingers, right? And then what they tell him when all this is going on is when you're 13, you can get married. 
And when the day you turn 13, you tell your mama you want to get married. Can you get married at 13? Where the hell can you get married at 13? If your mama signs off, you can. I thought it was 16 with your parents' signature. Mm, no, here, here where I'm from in Texas, it's 13. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. They need to spell Texas with a P. <laughs> All right. I'm just wanting to throw <laughs> that out there. All right. You know what I mean? All right. Next time you spell Texas, put a take the T out and just put a P there, a big one, a big ass <laughs> red one. <laughs> Sounds a little well, um, me. Yeah, well, I think that mama knows something. She knows something. If somebody would have tried to marry my 13-year-old daughter, even if a dude would have came to me and like, hey, can I marry you? I would go to prison. I'm telling you, I, or, have a, I, I had a friend when I was in junior high that got married at 13 because her mama signed or paper. I would be in a wheelchair the rest of my life because I would break one of my legs off in your ass. So either way, it's going to be bad for me. I'm either going to prison or ending up in a wheelchair. You're going to be uneven. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Not even. Okay, honey. Give me good. Good to talk to you. Uh, All right. Peace. Bye. Yeah, I don't know. Look, there's there's some sickos in this world. I thought you had to be like 15, eight months, parents' permission. You mean, you know, you got to be within that age range of three years or something. In a perfect world. I don't know. I know when you get over that point, this is say you were 50 and you married a 60 year old. That ain't weird. Okay. But when you 30 and you marry a 14 year old, that shit is strange and some change. All right. There's a whole lot of you need to be in prison. Let a person grow up type thing. And I just don't know how you can miss these signs. Maybe you can miss signs like this. And, uh, I was always real alert around, about the people around my kid. Just any, I didn't trust anybody, but my mom. So you got to pay attention. And, and, and I, I say this every time I talk about this little girl, sit down with your kids and talk to them. You'll be amazed what they tell you. Sometimes I sit with my kid and she tells me all kinds of things like overshares. Like, all you had to do is sit there and listen. And if you're not real judgmental, they'll tell you everything. They'll tell you everything that's going on. Dolly. Hey, Dolly. Hey. I know you got to get off. It's Big Bird. Um, I want to say thank you for reporting on the case today. I watched it as a replay. Awesome. Um, I don't know how you go to all these hearings, let me tell you. It's hard. It ain't just my butt though. bone. I can tell you that because these benches, the, the courthouse be hard. <laughs> they be hard. Yeah, you, need need to, a, you need to get one of those cushions. <laughs> I'm going to get me a cushion. I'm going to look like the oldest man walking in there with a butt cushion. Okay. But hey, I'm at <laughs> just, the, tell them you have, just tell them you have a medical disorder. <laughs> I'm be like, hey, man, I'm pulling a lot of court time here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I learned this court ain't bad when it ain't for you. Like, you know, yeah, well, I don't mind well, it at all. That's true, but the goriness is very hard. Time goes um, by so slow when you're waiting, and there's nothing to say yeah. going on. Like, like we were sitting up there in the hallway, and, and I asked the lady what time it is. She was like, oh, well, it's like 9. I swear it felt like five hours went by, and I was like, hey, what time is it? She was like, 9.15. <laughs> yeah, I was like, damn, time is moving so slow. It took forever. I waited yeah. lunch time. That was the most boringest half a day I've ever spent in my life. And you guys can't bring your phones in there, right? You can't bring a phone in there. You can't bring a computer in there. You can't bring food in there. You can't bring water in there. They almost got it where you can't come in there. <laughs> you get a viewing room only. <laughs> yeah, you can watch from across the street. Get, get, get a telescope. We got windows. You can see through them if you get at the right distance. Yeah, that's how Massachusetts is, too. Um so I wanted to say thank you. I know you have to get off and I know you have to be up really early to go. Um, but I also wanted to let you know, I talked to PJ briefly today and I'm going to post tomorrow on your Facebook group, uh -huh. a sample letter that can be copied and pasted. And Kayla has the, parole. the parole here, me and PJ was talking mm -hmm. about it. Thank you, Big Bird. Cause I think that's really important. This lady shouldn't be free. Yeah. So I just want, I did, I know you're talking about Madeline. Um, and, 
you know, other cases, but I just did want people to know in case they're not watching chat, it's going to be in there tomorrow, as long as that's all right with you. Oh, yeah, perfect. A simple fine. copy and paste. And then I'll share it on my community wall on all my channels and my Facebook okay. page also. Because, yeah. All right. So go ahead. Her hearing is at 930 on Thursday morning. So the person that I was talking to at DOJ for the victims today, uh -huh. she said that it's best for everybody to, if you can email everything in before three o'clock, the latest tomorrow. Um Eastern Standard Time. Okay, well, post so if can do that. I'll fill it up okay. and I'll send mine in and I'll encourage everybody else to. All right, that sounds awesome. All right, thank you. Good luck tomorrow. All right, thank good night. You. I'll try not to go to jail. Peace. Because you know why I'm saying something to this dude. All right, uh, let me close the phone lines real quick because I do want to touch in on what she was saying real fast. Okay, Kayla Montgomery is the mother. Well, no, she is the wife of Adam Montgomery. The mother of Harmony Montgomery is Crystal. Crystal, the state of New Hampshire made a deal with the devil. This woman, to me, is just as responsible as Adam Montgomery in the death of Harmony Montgomery. She has a parole hearing coming up, like I said, and this lady is getting out. I don't know how good, how much good us writing it's going to do, but I encourage everybody, there's a thousand of you watching, let's send a thousand emails tomorrow, okay? It's important. If you do one good thing tomorrow for the world, just for humanity and just for human beings and one good thing, and it won't take you shit to be like, please don't let this lady out. She is a monster. She is capable of doing these things again. Even if it's just something just as simple as that. Is it going to help? Probably not. But we can pray to little baby Jesus that it does. And this lady spends another year or two in prison. She watched this baby be beat to death. She was only charged with perjury. I watched this lady lie. I looked her hair in her evil ass, beady little Leilani eyes. Okay. So please. Do some good tomorrow. Fill out a little email, send it in. I'll make sure I post it for everybody. And let's pray it helps. And that this girl don't get out. Because I told y'all when I was up there in the courts, this girl will be out in 90 days. Can I kick it? What lady? Kayla Montgomery. The wife of Adam Montgomery. She still, she said in court, she still loves the man. He brutally beat this little girl to death. She needs to pay the price. She does not need to be out of jail. And there's a team of people out here. There's a thousand right now. Plus, you know, we got thousands on my Facebook. Thousands. We need to get as many people as we can to where these people know that it is absolutely insane to let this woman out of jail. And I love you guys. Thank you for all the likes tonight. Thank y'all for the support. Thank y'all. Oh, big news. We ordered our booth for CrimeCon today. All right. So it is official. Dolly will be at Crime Con 2024, Nashville, May 31st through June 2nd. Come out, meet me, hang out. Let's have a good time. Let's get into some true crime. Maybe we'll get to see Aunt Nancy, little Uncle Vinny. You know, it's going to definitely be fun. Um, and for all the people that can't afford to get into Crime Con, because it is expensive. All right. Thank you guys that have donated to help us get there. We're going to do a meet and greet outside of there. So if you want to go out to dinner with me and PJ, we're going to have somewhere that's affordable cheap that we can all come and meet because we know everybody ain't got three, $400 to get into crime con. But if you're in the Nashville area, we're going to have a meet and greet later that night after crime con somewhere so we can hang out with you already. We've heard that Huntress is coming. Miss Ann is coming. Dumplings coming. Short Legs is going to be there. PJ, Dolly, Lolo is going to be there. Okay. And you should be there too. Ain't that cool? And I'll see you guys. If you're up in the morning, you might not want to miss it. Now, if I miss them, I'll be up in court and I'll give you updates. But we're saying some shit to this man. Freedom of speech. All right. My First Amendment right. Where's that baby? Okay.
Y'all be good. Peace.